Okay, so I've got here uh, one of the new Les Paul tributes with the mini tune system. Now, come closer. So the only difference you're going to see between a guitar with and without the mini tune system is the mini tune ones just have this little kind of black, kind of looks like a little tuner right in the middle here. Uh, there's no wires or anything in the back of the guitar, no funky way of charging it up through the guitar input socket. It has a battery, a little kind of battery like this, lithium battery, which you actually charge up uh, independently, so this just stays on the back if of the guitar. If you leave that out, can I still just tune the guitar as normal? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, they reckon fully charged, one of these will do about a hundred tunings on a guitar. So there's plenty of, um, is it a hundred or a thousand? hundred, I think it is, isn't it? We'll find out later. So. Um, yeah, we'll do a hundred tunings. So basically, let's just let's just not tune this guitar. Are we close enough to use camera mic just for that, or yeah, do you yeah, want to yeah, actually yeah, hear no, that's, it? That's, that's fine. So I'll just mess it around a bit, and you can probably hear actually the tuners sound a little bit like the gear windings. You so I'm out of tune. So here's my nice chord. Bit of, <laughs> bit of a bit of lead for you. Ah, oh, Les Dawson, fantastic. I might That's sell slush. that. I might sell <laughs> <laughs> So I'm used to having a headstock tuner, so it's fine to have it all down at the end here. Um, and I guess I'll turn it on here. Yep. Okay, so the default is that it's just going to go to an E concert E tuning. So strum yeah. all six strings. Okay. And it does say the first uh, right, Ooh. what should happen now is that some of the strings will light up a different colour, like the E one here, which is basically saying that's not in tune. So, so I don't think the E in the E and the G probably aren't in tune and the rest are, so just hit the E on its own. Okay. And give it a few seconds just to do its thing. Yeah, now hit the G on its own. Okay. Right, okay. now when, it's, when it thinks it's in tune, it turns itself off. So, so that's it's it. telling me it's in tune, but is it actually in tune? Okay. Okay, here's an E major chord. It is in tune. It's in tune. It's actually worked. So that's how, now, so that name. Well, that's the first time that for me, yeah, robot tuning has actually worked. Yeah, so now I think there's absolutely, B said earlier on, it's like, well, I can tune my guitar, it's never been a problem before, so what's the point? And I, to be honest with you, if all it did was tune to E, I would get that, you know, what is the point? Yeah. However, what it actually has are three banks of different tunings in here. So you've got drop D, uh, dad gad, various open tunings, open G, etc., plus a bank of, um, your own tuning. So if you if you have a specific tuning that your band needs to use, you perhaps you play some weird slide stuff. You need oh, to that's cool. So let's do open no, but G. But you can override all of it if you want to. Yeah. Okay. So let's do open G. So, right, so, so we turn it on. Now the first thing we have to do is we have to press it again to go into the menu mode. And what I want to be in is you see the three. It's going red, blue, green. Now that signifies your your three banks of tunings, and then the left and right here go through Key. your different ones. Uh, so I believe that, uh, if I remember rightly, open G was green mode and G. I might be wrong here, but let's see. Now don't do anything, Oof. don't touch anything. It does actually say, it because it, it knew you were in E before, yeah. it makes some approximate adjustments. So now strum all six strings and let it do its kind of thing. Same idea as before, so let them go green, and if they don't go green, it means okay. it just wants you to say like the D and the, oh no, here you go. That's okay. kind of random. So now actually. that's there you go. So that's now. Now if you play bar chord the A and do your do your Keith Richards, do you want me to do your, No, is that what's, what's like the A minor E type chord? No. That's it. <laughs> so, so you're basically there's your open G tuning. Now that <laughs> so forget the whole idea of okay I can tune to E, big deal, most of us can tune to E. I just like the fact that you can, within, what did that take, 20 seconds maybe? Yeah, maybe yeah. 15, 20 seconds, something like that. And coolly, without you even needing to know, you know, if I'm in, you know, if I'm trying to do an open G tuning, what does that even mean? Yeah. You can just go, there you go. So and can, it actually works. And it actually works. And it's not, it doesn't add the extra weight to the headstock like perhaps That's previous robot tuners did. I, it um, doesn't add any weight to the headstock doesn't have a battery pack now in the body of the guitar, so there's no cables running up the neck or anything like that. It's just, there you go. Um, well, okay. Do you want to do another tuning? Yeah. You know, you have, you're in. What Can you put me in, in strictly fourths, just fourths? You wanted fourths, didn't you? I want, no, I want I, to go I need my, Alex Hutchings on it. I need my phone, because I can't remember what one fourth is. Green high E. Green high, the little squiggly E. Yeah. Okay. 
Here's, here's a weird one for you. When Alex Hutchins was here from the Roland Demonstrator, he has learned to play everything where the whole guitar is tuned to fourths. So there is a mode for that. So we press it once, press it again to go into menu mode. Right, so you want uh, what colour? Green. Green. So, okay, so we could, just so that you remember again, if you do up and down, that's what goes through the colours. So obviously go to green and the little squiggly E, the one on the, that's it. Oh. And press the middle button. Don't press anything. That's it. So it's kind of already tried to get that as close as it can. Freaky. And then you strum all six strings and let it do its fine tuning. And again, just give it a second. Always having a bit of problem with that low E. It'll get there. There you go. Oh my god. Uh, and now In you have go. fourths. It is fourths. Yeah. Let me let me shred on that. So before you do that, so that's the mini tune. Now you can get. You cannot, and don't forget this, you cannot retrofit this after you've bought the guitar that you like. You have to buy this on the guitar at source. The cool thing is, it's available on every single one of the Tribute models, and it's going to be available on the 2013 Les Paul Studios and the 2013 Signature T series. But so, and is it loads and loads of money? No, it adds about £100 onto the regular price of a, of a Les Paul or an SG. So, uh, right. you know, what's, what's, a, what's a decent clip on tuner? 40 quid, 50 quid, what? 40 quid? Yeah. So, yeah, you one. know, I mean, obviously it's not transferable from one guitar to the next, but I think that's a cool, you know... You're not going to lose think, it though, are you? I don't think Chappers and I are afraid to say we were probably both a bit... Oh, I was dubious. more, I was, I was <laughs> devious and sceptical because I, I'm a, a traditionalist and it wasn't something that I felt I needed. I don't need it, but I can completely see that someone mm. would need it. Yeah. And I think it's a cool thing that it works. I think it's, it's great. It's definitely aiming at, you know, if you're a pro, uh, if you're a pro player yeah. and you basically jump between E and drop D whilst you're playing, you know, let's be fair, maybe not the sort of thing that you're going to need. But if you're a, you know, like open a, G a, and, and fourths and then you know different, yeah, or a sem like you, a, just that, a, that kind of thing is a useful application. Yeah, or you're you're a more uh, intermediate player or a beginner player, and you just think I want to experiment some tunings and it, I, I just yeah, if you cool. just don't know tunings, if you find it difficult mm. to tune, and you don't know lots of different tunings and you want something to do it for you, yeah, rather than taking it to your uncle. But if you want to see uh, all the different tuning uh, options that you can do on MiniTune, go to the Andertons website, go find any of the guitars that have got a MiniTune system on there, and it'll tell you what you can do. But it's a, it's a very cool, cool system. Okay. And, and you know what? Uh, it's the first, as you probably rightly say, it's, I think it's, it's, it's taken Gibson probably five years of robot mucking around with, you know, where are we going with this? You know, we've had the Firebird, the Dark Fire, the, the robot, everything Firebird. like that. What did I call it? The, no, no, you're right. It was a Firebird X, sorry. Um, and this is the first one where I thought, do you know what? They've cut it right down, it's affordable, it's simple, and most important of all, it works.